Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Dana Times, and welcome to the Challenger series. Oh, um, I, I, I fixed my mistake from last time, which was <clears throat> I ate before recording today. So hopefully, um, the brain doesn't fart. Granted, I just finished eating. It's going to take like 30 minutes, maybe, for the for all the nutrients to catch up to my brain. But nonetheless, I got a little bit of caffeine, get a little bit of food. It's good enough, right? Got a fleece and, uh, what, 50 rounds? And a decent spawn, actually. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't actually check to see if I have the right um, mouse setting on. It feels a little bit squishy, but I don't, it might not be. Hold on. No, no, it's good. It's good. We're good. All right, we're going to climb up this hill. Um, this spawn is actually not bad. Um, as far as, like, spawns on this side of the mountain go, it's probably the best one. Granted, on this side of the mountain is not always great. But we'll, we'll take what we can get, right? This is a single-shot weapon. Oh, I thought I made that jump. Ugh. Okay. What time is it? 16.24. Okay, pretty normal. <clears throat> pretty normal. We've got uh, chainlet, gold chain, and horse. Two chainlets. Three chainlets. You know what? As much as I'm not a fan of chainlets, they add up. The Umka rig is actually really good, though. Um, it is, as far as, like, this is one of the new rigs that they in introduced. For, I think this wipe? I think? Uh, T ammo's fine. Give it to me. Give it to me. We don't really want ammo, but, I mean, we'll take it. Alright, is the sniper up? Sniper is up. He's got a backpack. He's got a scoped Mosin. Can somebody shoot him, please? It sucks he's not dead yet. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm at the point where... I'm so close to, to 6.0, though. What I'm going to have to do is take some car extracts, probably. Because, like, it's so... It's so difficult. It's so much work. Because I've done... I've killed, like, maybe three scavs, honestly. Three bad scavs. Or, I mean, three good scavs, I should say. I've killed several bad scavs. Um, I've killed, like, three good scavs, which means that my rep has not dropped very far. I've never killed a boss. Um, I've obviously extracted as a, as a scav quite a bit. I've taken car extracts. Lighthouse, I haven't taken a single car extract. But I've taken car extracts. I've taken uh, PMC scav extracts. I've, I've kind of I've done a little bit of everything, and I'm at like 4.20 or something like that. It's it's insane. You need to be at six to have any type of value out of it. It's crazy. Uh, there's there's a there'd be a good reason for me to go offline and just sort of uh, go to lighthouse and take the car extracts. Just to kind of get it up past six, because I do think that that might give us some possible good starts more often. I don't know. We have we've had some decent starts. I shouldn't complain. But uh, but still, it would be it would be nice. I wonder if this would have gone differently if I uh started with that. Um, take the we'll take the bolts. Um, let me get rid of this. The vodka. I don't know why. It's not worth anything. I always pick up vodka. Vodka and mustaches, man. IRL, I don't even drink. You know, I have an occasional beverage here and there. Usually low alcohol content, like a beer or something like that. But almost never do I drink. And I always pick up the vodka. It just attracts me. I don't know. That's not bad. I don't think that's very good, though. Um, that's not a bad mag. I say 58 folding stock. Okay. 120 rounds of T ammo. 
That's not great, but it's sellable. So that's why I'm holding on to it for now. PS ammo. PS actually isn't bad either. This Gen M, this Gen M3, the banana mag, I, I'm, I'm holding it purely for, uh, what's it called? Mm. Um, for, like, uh, just, just fancy full purposes. That's about it. We haven't found a Bulbex or, or anything there in a while, huh? Novelty, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, because novelty sells in video games, and they sell in this game. So I'm hoping it's worth something based on the novelty. It's really not It's not really that great of a mag. It's fine. As far as AK mags go, it's totally fine. It is a, it's a 7.62 mag, too. So as far as that goes, actually, it's not bad at all. Um, we'll get rid of that. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, let's go to the diving board. Yeah, as far as that goes, it's actually not too bad. So, everybody's been watching this. I've had, you know, it's, we don't, it, this isn't this most compelling series. I understand. I'm trying to make the best out of it. Um, but it's still fun. And I think the people who have been watching this and coming into the stream and stuff and saying, hey, been enjoying, like, been enjoying the series because it's, like, a new sort of every every raid is while you keep running the same map dano um it's it's different because it's like a roguelite and it's like that's that's actually why i enjoy doing it too because i i mean for those who don't know i come from roguelites more than anything back in the back in the day i used to play m pretty much exclusively shooters um to the point of okay okay high uh competition but for the most part, that kind of fell off when I started streaming. Even though I probably should have stuck with it, because when I started streaming, there wasn't a lot, there weren't a lot of streamers in general. But I probably should have stuck with it. It probably wouldn't have been fine. But I found simulators in streaming, because my God, simulators! Do you want to talk about the best kind of streaming game? Oh my God, a simulator will take you so far. It's so fun to just sit there and do like you know everyday everyday normal guy stuff but have it be in a video game and have it be your world's sandbox and oyster and it's not something that is shoved down your throat like most sandbox games you literally have the the opportunity to do pretty much whatever you want and it's a really a whole lot of fun and that's kind of what drew me to to Tarkov actually was it's kind of a roguelite. It's kind of a simulator. It's a little bit of both. It's actually not a... Not a bad gig. And so we just kind of stuck with that and rolled with uh, with doing it that way and calling it that. You know, sometimes you gotta shoehorn your own category categorization into a game when you're streaming it and making content on it. But that that is kind of the truth in a lot of ways. Um, this is it. It's a military simulator. Based in, you know, you're not working in a military squad or in an actual military but i mean you're a private military contractor and a lot of your character is borrowed from or it, it's it, your guy is supposed to have come from military training right and you can use a lot of military uh, tactics and stuff if you like but you don't have to it's mostly for survival so that and then that's what it is too it's a survival roguelite in a way um the light aspect is the fact that you are constantly progressing outside of each raid. But the rogue aspect is the fact that you kind of start over every time. The difference is you can start with uh, different amounts of gear all the time and it's not really random. But the stuff you pick up is random. Um, the weapons that you can find are random. Whether or not you, find, you run into a person or an AI or none of the above is random or both. Um, it's... 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 It's been the way I've been describing it for a long time, and I've been having a pretty good time doing it. <clears throat> so, you know, take that with what you will. It's been great. Um, Tarkov is not a game I would recommend to people if I didn't know who they were and didn't know that they liked pain, because this game is full of pain. But it's a game that 
I would absolutely love to get people into if they showed interest. Um, several people have shown interest, and I've I've gone through and we've we've taught a couple people. Um, and they some of them have kept with it, most of them have not. But for the most part, it is something that I think that's pretty much that's pretty much how the community works. You either love it, and you love this, which is why it's a small but tight community, or you just hate it and go away from it, which is, you know, pretty normal as well. MRE. Um, let's go up here and check the mark circle. And they keep adding stuff to it. It's, you know, I'm not, I'm never gonna really sit here and praise the game and its holy spirit like many people because there are many problems and lots of things all around it. But, I will say that it is one of the most impressive development cycles that I've ever seen. They've known what they've wanted and they've gone with it. About 80%. There's a lot of stuff that that they've done for the community, or at least they think it's for the community, and sometimes it's just for cheaters, or sometimes it's, you know, not, not for them, but, you know, to battle only them and to hurt others. Sometimes it's weird, weird decisions based on, you know, who knows. But the point is, for the most part, they've stuck with their vision, and I think that's, that's commendable. In this day and age. Oh, that's not bad. Um, yeah, we'll take that. I should probably get rid of the fleece soon. I keep getting rid of my ammo. As a scav, that's not really that bad. But, you never know. You really never know when you're going to need it. Hopefully, I only need 20 rounds. Does the... Does the scav game load you with... It does. It loads you with an extra round in the chamber. That's good. So we have 21 rounds. It's not bad. I mean, it's PST. Pretty much, if you don't shoot him in the head, you're dead anyway, but... Still. You like to have more chances. It's always good. I think we've been pretty lucky, and this this hasn't been looted that much. This This map. I don't know if we have time to go to um, go to USAC camp. We might. Those are empty, though. Five minutes? We actually might. I might go. Maybe just check, uh, check real quick. Somebody was here. PMC, I'm hoping. That's a... I heard wood as if somebody was on a tree. I don't think I'm going to risk it. We've got a good amount of stuff. Lots of hot rods. I wonder if hot rods will actually sell in the market. They should. There's a rat cola there, too. Um. Well, crap. Um. Ba -ba 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 Take the rat cola. Oh, you know what? I'm at the wrong extract, I think. I don't think there was a... There's a scav house and scav bridge. Yeah, okay. So, good thing we did not go. Um... Because that would have been bad. Because I almost did the... I almost made the same mistake that I did last time. These guys didn't drop a backpack, did they? A duffel. That's a scav. Okay. Okay, not bad. Actually, not too bad. Let's start heading out. 
Scare bridge, right? Yeah. All right. I I can live with this. Um, this is only this is not gonna reach 500k. I don't think. But the gold chains are really good. Um, because I think they'll always sell the therapist pretty well. Pretty sure. Sick. Um, all right, so. Boom, 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 boom. Do we... <clears throat> Let's see. This brings us pretty close. Um, let me see. All right. So I'll be right back. And uh, let me count this up. And we'll run this super quick. Be right back. Okay. So I actually want to try something. So um, we're at a... So that was, the, that was raid 44. We did it on woods. And then our new total here, right here is 17,968,815 rubles. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end this this episode here. I know it's short. We only did one raid. It's a good time to hang out. I I, I want it, but I but I think because of our odd number and I don't want to make the last episode super short, um I want to actually do something, which is going to be essentially us getting 45 and 46 in the same raid. That's one episode. 47, 48, 49, and 50. And then, you know, and then, you know, 52, 54, 56, 58, and then 60. So that's eight more episodes of the full on 60 raid, 60 scav run um, series. And then. What I actually want to do is I want to take one episode to make up the rest, which should be four-ish right now. And I want to see if we can actually go super heavy on trying to get as much money as possible as quickly as possible. And I almost want to cut it together to where we just go and see how many raids it takes us to get to, uh, to, our, to our 30 mil. I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm curious. It's kind of, this is just kind of behind the scenes. I, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. If you're really, really upset with me about doing a 18 to 20 minute episode, I'm sorry. Um, please let me know. You're more than welcome to just bash me, do whatever you got. Um, but I think this is the this is a better way to do it because I don't want to do a super long episode and have you guys be like, oh man, we got to watch all of this to get. I'm not gonna be able to watch the whole thing. You know how that goes. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna jump it. I'm gonna jump out here. Thank you for watching. Please give it a like if you like it. And you know what? If you're really upset with me, give it a dislike. You know, it's it's really just, it's fair, right? It's fair. Give it a dislike. I know that YouTube doesn't show it anymore. I, Frankly, I wish they did. Um, I, I don't mind seeing dislikes on the channel. So the point is, you actually cared enough to give it a dislike. And that means something to me. So anyway, go check that out. Um, go check out the next few raids and the next few episodes. Go back and watch some of the episodes. See where I messed up. See And see where we can improve. I know we've been running woods a lot, and I know that we should probably change it up for the sake of entertainment, but, like, we're doing a challenge here, and I want to take the map that's going to give us the most money and the most reliable money, so that's been woods, which is kind of how it goes. Anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this is okay. I appreciate you, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.